Today on Alaskan Ballistics, the Vitoptics 1 to 6 LPVO. Let's see how well it does. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Alaskan Ballistics. My name is Chuck. I hope you are doing well today. Vitoptics sent this out for review. They also sent a, a couple of mounting options for me that also look pretty quality. So we're gonna look at this and see how it does. It is a one to six. And then here is your reticle. You can see it's a Christmas tree reticle. I don't know if you can tell the dots on the side there, but yeah, it's a Christmas tree reticle. So let's open up this box, see what we get. Okay, you get a cleaning sticker. All right, you get a handle for the throw lever. All right, you get scope caps. See how those stay on. I've had so many rifles where they came with these cheap scope caps that just don't stay on. Uh, so many scopes, rather. Even my U.S. Optics didn't stay on. It came with these cheap scoped caps. And that's that. And you get a little instruction manual here. And user manual. And let's see at its features. It is one-fifth mil clicks, which I kind of like. Because it's an AR, you know, type scope. It's not really a precision rifle scope, so you don't need that that precise of clicks. You just need to be able to get it minute to man at a couple hundred yards. Over here, you have the lighted reticle. It's both green and red. And there's your battery compartment for it right there. The glass doesn't look too bad in there. You can see kind of the reticle in there. I'm going to hook this up to a cell phone adapter and take it outside before I even mount it on a rifle. And we'll look at it there. So this is what the reticle in the Vitoptics looks like. Not too bad. Nice little Christmas tree reticle. I'm looking at the mountains across from my house. It's not even attached to a rifle right now. I kind of really like it. Sorry, the phone scope doesn't really do it much justice. Camera not focusing well. There you go. That's on six power. And you can see pretty good detail on a mountain. It's not very bright out here either it's past sunset the, just the light fading so we added this scope to the 458 socom and we'll see if it can take the recoil if it can take the recoil of a 458 socom it can take the recoil of just about anything Nice scope. Okay. Yeah, that's on review too, actually. What's the uh, 180? Yeah, oh, uh, that's the ghost gun lower. So they're making fun of Joe Biden's ghost gun rule. 80% safe, 100% fire, F-U-J-B in the full auto position. Oh, okay. It's got a ghost gun, ghost on there, on the receiver, and oh, the yeah. serial number starts with boo. They came out with that after the ghost gun rule. <laughs> so it was like, yeah, I was like, I had to get one. That's, that's actually funny. Yeah. So they do that too, nukes and AR-15s and stuff like that. Yep, it went all the way in. Well, I smoked it. There you go. Is there one more in it? Yeah. So one thing I love about adjusting the scope is you got to actually pull it out. And then you can turn the clicks. And you push it back down and it's solid. It's locked in. All right, so this Vitoptics optic, one to six, if you will, 
it was great. We were able to adjust our sights pretty easily from 25 yards to 50 yards, and it moved just perfectly like it was supposed to according to the number of clicks. So that's impressive. What's even more impressive is the scope caps hadn't fallen off yet. And it's crystal clear, and I even had a couple other guys shoot it, and they said, hey, nice scope. I'm pretty happy with it. You know, they did send it out for review. You know, I normally wouldn't buy something, you know, quite this inexpensive made from China, but I'm glad they sent it out for review because it actually works. It's well-designed, and, you know, if you need something inexpensive, it's going to be made in China. So, you know, nothing you can do about that. It does work if you're on a budget and you need a decent optic. I like it a lot, but this thing just throws up so nice and might be better for bear defense too. It's a great optic. I I like it. If it can withstand 458 SOCOM and do all the adjustments correctly, it'll withstand 5.56, 22, 9mm, whatever you're going to put it on. You know, 9mm carbine, 10mm carbine, that kind of thing. So it will withstand all of that. And guys, I think it's a really, really great option to have. So guys, God bless. Take care. Don't forget the MeWe link in the description, the t-shirt link in the description, the Patreon link in the description. Visit us on Facebook, The Real Alaskan Ballistics on Instagram, not my old hacked account, but The Real Alaskan Ballistics on Instagram. We will see you at the range. Mm -hmm.